What's up guys, my name is Keith and I'm going to talk about my recommendations for EDC Day 1. Now quick disclaimer, I'm going to talk about artists that I enjoy. Most of them I've seen them so I could vouch that yes they're good. And just a handful of them, I have not seen them but heard very good things about them from many different people. So let's get started. The first DJ I'm going to talk about is actually the first person that was there, and that's 4B. You might not know who 4B is, but if you've heard this song before... Yeah, that whistle song. It's literally called Whistle. A lot of his set will sound like that. It'll be fun, it'll be upbeat, so if you're tired and probably don't want to see him, maybe just stay on the bleachers or go to that carnival in the middle. But for the next artist, if you haven't heard of them, Above and Beyond, I want you to say hi to Patrick for me because you've obviously been under a rock. All jokes aside, Above and Beyond is amazing. I hope I see them because I really want to hear this Seven Lines remix and Seven Lines isn't there. But yeah, this is the drop I want to hear at EDC and if you like this, you'll probably like the Above and Beyond set. <laughs> There's a second part of this drop, it's really good, check this out, it's right here. But yeah, above and beyond, if you get a chance, go check them out, they're legends. They have been doing this for a while, so they know what they're doing. And the next person I want to talk about is Alesso. Alesso is super cool, I actually did go to his set 2016 and left because I wasn't feeling it, but I still really think you should check him out, because he has classic songs like this. And if you want to be a hero on day one, you could be a hero, I could be a hero, and Yeah, Alesso is super cool, and the next person I want to talk about, Audien, holy shit, I just saw Audien at Beyond, he killed it, he has great songs just like this. <laughs> Also, one of my favorite drops ever, not just by Audien, but ever, is definitely this one, Hindsight. If you like this drop, check out Audien. He is going to be one of the greatest ones there. Hands down. Hands down. Okay, this next artist I'm going to talk about, Born Dirty. I actually have never seen him, but I've heard a lot of his songs played. It's house music. I really enjoy house, and you'll be hearing songs similar to this. I feel like house music is really good music to start off the day. Just, you'll be moving and then, yeah, check out some house music. And the next person I'm going to talk about is actually more house music. It is Chris Lorenzo. He is really, really good. He plays back to back with Chris Lake and you've probably heard his songs before. This one was an instant classic right here, nothing better. <laughs> Yeah, he does play with Chris Lake as Anti Up. They're actually an artist, and this is one of their latest songs, which has been stuck in my head for a minute. Okay, on to the next artist. This next artist is actually super, super legend. If you have not heard about him, that's insane. He plays what he wants. He usually plays mainly just his songs, if not a remix of one of his songs. And this is one of his songs, so you could just guess what I'm talking about. Yeah, that was Dead Mouse. He was the first artist I actually ever listened to. Like, like it was downloaded on LimeWire, his 4 times 4 equals 12 album, and I don't know, it was just so good. I always listened to it. This one is always stuck in my head. That one was called Some Chords, and one more by him, it's... No, I got two more. I have to play two more by him. This one's called Strobe. So good. And this next song is called The Velt. I really want to hear it live. I've never heard it live. Maybe I have, but I forgot. But I want to hear this song live. 
The song is very calm. I want to see fireworks during this, possibly. That would be great. We'll see. But on to the next artist, Drezo. If I could compare Drezo to artists, I would say it's like a mix of Mala and Rez. Because check out this song. Another song by him, you probably heard it before and you're like, huh, I wonder who what this is. Well, it's actually Drezo. It's called Heaven. Super cool. This next artist I'm going to talk about, Ducky. I've never heard of Ducky. I was just looking at the lineup yesterday and when I saw that it said live next to it, I was like, hmm, this seems like it's worth to look at. So I looked it up and just listen to this song and tell me who comes to mind. I don't know about you, but that sounds like Porter Robinson to me. And I don't expect a world set or anything like that, but I'm excited to see this person. I really hope there's no conflicts and Ducky. Remember Ducky. Ducky, Ducky. This is another song by Ducky. I feel like I definitely could have a good time at that set. So the next person I'm going to talk about is Elefante. I'll be completely honest, I have not seen Elefante in like two years, but last time I saw him, he was playing his old bangers that made me bounce and sounded like this. There's another song that sounds like... So that's Elefante. If you want to bounce around and have some fun, I hope he's like that this year because that's what I want to see. So if you like to bounce, check out Elefante. This next person also is a cannot miss. I hope I don't miss. On a different stages, Dead Mouse, but his name is Eric Prids. If you have not heard of Eric Prids, then that's I don't know, that's pretty weird to me, but it's possible you don't know who Eric Prids is, but his music is very progressive. His set time will be about an hour and a half. But if you look at the track list online, it says that he only plays 8 to 10 songs. There's a lot of builds. People will say it's repetitive, but in reality, it's music. It's really good. The build is insane. There's songs like this. Of course, it's going to build up to something more like this. If you like a good light show, Eric Prids is known for always bringing more lasers than needed. His light team is on point, they know exactly what to do, it looks insane every time. And there's another song by him that I really enjoyed hearing, Alesso actually played at Beyond in 2016, it's this song right here. That one was called Opus. It's really good. I can't believe this lineup is really stacked. I feel like I've been talking for an hour already and we're only at the E's and we have a lot to go. So I'm going to talk about the next person, Excision. He is great. Excision's lights are amazing and he's at the main stages this year. They usually have tiny screens at Kinetic Field, but since Excision is there, I feel like they're going to change that. They wouldn't have Excision with tiny screens. So I'm excited to see that. A couple songs by Excision. <laughs> This next one is called Rumble. It's one of my favorites. I know for a fact his whole set is not going to be all blah, 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 the whole time. He's going to have some feel good stuff for sure every once in a while. Like this song. He's definitely going to play this song. I'm pretty sure. And I just wanted you to know. Yeah, that one is called Home. It's really good. And this next artist, his name is Fisher. You you know his songs. I'm just gonna play it. This other popular song that I really like is Stop It. He 
he's gonna be super fun. I believe he's at Neon Garden. And this next person, I have not seen. It's actually a group, Ganja White Knight. I just hear a lot of good stories about them. I played a bunch of songs on their Spotify the other day and they were all so good. These are a couple of songs that I saved on the playlist. Oh, by the way, I made a playlist for you all. It has 50 songs, all for day one, that I believe that you should see. I'll put the link below. So feel free to listen to that playlist, all for day one. And this is Ganja White Knight. <laughs> It's only one sound and like, I don't know, that one sound of how they manipulate it, it sounds really good. And I know for a fact, live, it'll sound so much better. This is another song they have with Zed's Dead called Samurai. <laughs> hope I get to watch Ganja White Knight and if I do, hope to see you there. This next person is going to be on Quantum Valley. He has his own show and he's known for his lights. His name is Gareth Emery. This is one of the songs I found on Spotify that I really enjoy. This other Gareth Emery song has been on my playlist called You. I hope I hear it. I don't know if he still plays it, but... I like it when there's female vocals on like transy songs. It just sounds so correct, you know? Yeah, this other person I have not seen, Gorgon City. They seem very legendary. I see them going on tour all the time. Sounds very housey. And this is the song I found that I enjoyed. Gorgon City. Another house artist, Green Velvet. I have not seen him. He has a song with Chris Lake. Not sure if he's gonna play it, but it's the style of this. He seems like he's gonna be a good time. This next person is 100% going to be a good time. I saw him at Hard Summer Escape and Beyond. His name is Joyride, and he has songs like this. <laughs> When I first input Joyride into Spotify and SoundCloud, I realized, wow, these are a bunch of songs I've been hearing at festivals that I didn't know who was responsible. And I'm so glad I found Joyride. He's so fun. He's so great. Next person I'm going to talk about, Lil Texas. I have not seen him live, but I have heard his music live and Virtual Self plays it, Valentino Khan plays it. So if those two artists ring a bell, check out Lil Texas. This is one of the songs. <laughs> Pretty certain he's gonna be at Wasteland, cool stage. I don't go there often, so it's nice to finally go there and be like excited for someone. Next person is Liquid Stranger, another artist I have never seen, but I keep hearing good things about him. The sound sounds totally different than the other things, and I really appreciate different. And this is one of his songs called Space Boss. <laughs> Yeah, that's Space Boss, and there's another song called Don't Stop. Don't Stop. See, that already sounds really cool on the computer, and I know for a fact live. This next artist is gonna be at Quantum Valley. His name is Sander Van Duren, and he has songs like this. <laughs> But also, he's responsible for this legendary song that you all know. That whole sound, the that is really what I think of when I hear EDC. We're in this age where trap and rhythm is rising up and like the weird stuff which is not bad at all it's fine but quantum valley is honestly the music that i think of when i think of edc i'm not there often but that's the heart of edc i truly think so if you don't think so let me know but if you do let me know also this next person mala I'm super 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 excited to watch mala alone i've only seen him with chami he plays tech house other types of house and this is one of his songs my conversation is cash money <laughs> Super, super fun. There's another song with Chami called Summer 99. Check this song out. <laughs> I'm 
Mala's gonna be fun no matter what. If there's no one on your schedule and Mala's there, please go check him out. This next artist, Party Favor, I've seen him many times. He throws a great party. It's He lives up to his name. It's always fun. He has songs with Diplo. And this is one of his remixes with Diplo, super good. <laughs> Another song to really get the vibe of how his set's gonna sound is Bap You, one of his best songs. The drop goes like this. Party Favor, super cool, song 2016. And yeah, this next artist, this next artist, his name is Quix, Q-U-I-X. And for everyone that's missing the future bass of EDC, you know, Jai Wolf, Lewis the Child, Porter Robinson, all that feelsy stuff that's not trance. Quix might really fill in that void because he has a lot of songs that sound very similar to what you want to hear. Just like this song, it's called Giving Up. I'm giving up. You know what I'm talking about? That like seven lines type of stuff. But yeah, he also has songs like this, so you could tell the set won't be just one sound. <laughs> But yeah, Quicks is gonna be cool. This brings me to the last artist I'm gonna talk about. It is a back-to-back -back set. Let me finally put this down so you can see my lovely jersey. It is Scream, back-to-back -back Rusko. I have not seen any of them, but I have heard a lot of good things about Rusko. I honestly haven't heard much about Scream. I put a song by each of them on the playlist so you can see how they're gonna really go back-to-back. -back. And this is Scream. <laughs> And this is one of Rusko's songs. This is a Netsky remix, but... <laughs> Super fun song, but that's just a remix. Let's hear what his songs sound like, just him. This one is called Woo Boost. <laughs> yeah, that's his sound. So, thank you guys for watching. I know this was a long video, so for anyone that's still watching, like, wow. You, I'm glad that you're not annoyed with my voice. I'm glad that you're enjoying this information. And I'm glad that we're, you know, hanging out here. I really hope that I can make more videos. Make sure your weekend in Vegas while EDC is going on is the best weekend. And if there's any topics you want me to talk about, ask the questions. I could answer right there. But also I could make a video to inform everyone because think about it. If you have a question, most likely other people have that question too. And by asking that question, you're doing your part. So... I'm Keith, thank you so much for watching, and you'll see me soon.